Hi class. I'd like to refine the uh, dynamic image gallery from my previous video just ever so slightly. What I've got is simply a list of all the images in my IMG folder. Or rather all my JPEGs in my IMG folder. And what I'd like to see is a, uh, a list of thumbnails, that is a list of small versions of those same images. And I'd like my thumbnails to be clickable, so that when I click a particular thumbnail, I'd get to see the big version of that image. So somehow I want PHP to detect if I've clicked an image, and then I'll be using some CSS to resize images. Well, let's give it a go. So first of all, to make thumbnails, I could simply add a class attribute on the IMG elements there, or you could call it thumb. And I've got a completely blank style sheet, but it's hooked up with my index. So I can go and select an image that has a class attribute with the value of thumb. So I'm going to be using a, um, a class selector, uh, an, an attribute selector there, selecting all images with a class of thumb. And let's just make it really simple, give it a width of 100 pixels. See, voila, they are thumbnails. All the pictures are now 100 pixels wide. My next step is I want to make these images, these thumbnails, clickable. So, to make something clickable in HTML, you would usually, you would usually wrap it in anchor tags. So the A element there can make make an item or an element clickable. And an href of of something, what would that be? Let's reload index.php and let's even reload the image gallery page. And let's also indicate what image to show. That would be the image that has the source we've created dynamically using some PHP up here. So the, the source, $SRC, should be the relative path of a given image. Let's just take a look at that. So an anchor wrapped around a thumb image and the href has a peculiar look to it. It loads a file and then it sets a page equal to image gallery and a show image equal to the path, the relative path of an image. So really what I've got here is one URL variable and another URL variable joined Whoops. Undo. What did I do there? So one URL variable with a name. Hang on. One URL variable with a name and a value. And another URL variable with a name and a value. And they're joined together in one query string using an ampersand character. Look at that, an ampersand, like an and. Let's try that. Nothing much changes, except when I click one of my images, look at the URL. If I click my top image, I reload the image gallery page, and I have an indication of the image I just clicked. 
that's this image. That's the path to that image. And if I click another, well, that will be the path to the clicked image. The path to the clicked image. So we're making progress here. I don't really get to see the full size images yet, but at least I've got the necessary information available in the URL. And PHP can get hold of that. Let me show you how. First of all, I want to detect if an image of if a thumb was clicked at all. So is thumb clicked equals is set dot underscore get show image. What this is, I am asking with PHP if there is a URL variable with the name show image encoded visibly in the URL with the HTTP method get. So I'm really asking, is there a URL variable with the name show image? Is there a URL variable with the name show image? If there is, that means a user has clicked a thumb. So if my thumb is clicked, let's just put that up in front. And so first we show the thumbs, and then if a thumb is clicked, let's just show an exclamation mark just to show something. So when I load my gallery, oh, I'm gonna have to scroll to the end here, and click some gallery, there is my exclamation mark. When there is a show image, PHP will spit out an exclamation mark, because if show image is found in the URL, if that URL variable is set, well if that is true, then add an exclamation mark to the output and return that output to index.php which will make sure it's echoed. So that's how we get this exclamation mark. Rather than an exclamation mark, I'd really like to see the um, the image. Let's do it in steps. Let's first grab hold of the source. And the source I can find as the value of the URL variable show image. If you look in the browser, the value calls the SRC, the relative path to the clicked image. Let's just take a look at that in the browser. <clears throat> so I'm going to add the clicked images SRC to the output. Refresh. And if I click my first image there, El Badalia, I get an output at the very end of my page, image forward slash El Badalia JPEG. So I get to see exactly this value, the path to the clicked image, at the very end of my document. I'm going to use that to show an image. And again, to show an image is very easy once you've got the path to the image. And I'll give it an old as well, as we should. Large image, all right. And I'll give it an ID say big for example I'm going to use that from um, from CSS to hook up with it and, and style it so it comes across as a big image let's try that so I reload my gallery click an image and at the end I have the full size version full size version of that image if I click another I get to oh that's rather large 
quite large actually. So I get to see another. And I click the image as well as see at the end of my uh, document. I just like to style that a little. So the ID of the big image was big and the width should be somewhat bigger, say 320. And to show it uh, not at the end of my document, I'm going to give it a position of absolute. That will take it out of the HTML flow entirely. And let's put it, I don't know, 45 pixels from the top and more than 100 pixels from the left. How about 150 pixels from the pixels from the left. While we're at it, let's give it a padding of 10 px and a border. And let's give it a rounded corners. Border radius, say 5px. Let's try that. Oh, well, that's uh, pretty. Right on top of my heading. Let's give it a different top value there. Still not enough. What, 95? And 180, perhaps? Oh well. We can, you can refine that on your own. But basically, you can see that this is a PHP driven image gallery with clickable thumbs. And it works because PHP can access URL variables and their values using the dollar underscore get super global. And I've got this basic if statement that if there is a URL variable show image. Well, that means an image was clicked, so that's the case. Add a big image to the output if there's no show image in the URL. Don't add a big image, just show the gallery as it is. And the image to show is the image indicated as the value of the show image URL variable. So these values in the URL is what makes up what image to show. So you may be wondering how did it get those values up there? That happens right here. I wrapped an anchor element around the thumb image and that anchor I gave that an href attribute pointing to index PHP page equals image gallery and show image equals the source of this particular image. And there you have it. Oh, there's one thing though. The ampersand character has special meaning in HTML. So if you wanna avoid validation errors, you should use a character entity that is You should use these few characters here that represents, that's a representation of an ampersand character. All character entities begin with an ampersand character and end with a semicolon. And then there's a, um, there are a few, few letters representing the character you want to show. So with that, you don't even have XML validation errors, I think. Shouldn't be. There shouldn't be an XML validation error. You can check that out. Anyway, thanks for watching.